from Forex Traders Daily. This is your daily analysis with Ross Mullins, live from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everyone. This is today's video analysis for February the 3rd, 2017. Today, we're going to be taking a look at each of the major U.S. currency pairs in anticipation of today's news. Coming up at 8.30 a.m. Eastern U.S. time, about 45 minutes from the recording of this video, we have significant news out of the U.S. with earnings information and jobs data. Definitely something that you'll want to pay attention to if you're trading any of the U.S. currency pairs because we could see a dramatic movement if there's a high deviation from what is forecast for all of that data. So let's keep an eye on each of the U.S. currency pairs today. Let's start with the dollar franc, USDCHF. We have been in a downtrend. The black trend line shows us the downtrend. The Forex black book trend bar is red, so we have been in a downtrend. So conventional wisdom would say we probably want to look for a short. However, if we get positive data out of the U.S. today, we may see some pullback, some beginnings of a retracement of this downtrend today. So if it's good news, we pop, probably look for this currency pair to go up. If it's significantly poor news or misses the uh, forecast, then we will look for it to go down in the direction of the trend. Let's zoom in a couple of times here on the daily time frame. And again, over the past one, two, three, four, and really I think we could probably throw this day in there. So the past five days, we've been stuck underneath the 99.60 level, which is the top of the blue shaded area. We see the 100 period moving average sitting just above the market near the pink shaded area, just into the 99.90 level. There's that moving average right there. So we have a couple of things to think about. Resistance is obviously here at the blue zone, one, two, three, four, five days finding resistance underneath 99.60 and good positive data we see the break of that 99.60 and our first resistance that we run into is not too far right here at, uh, just underneath the parity level inside the pink zone the, is parity and the 100 period moving average so not too far where we're going to run smack into the next resistance however uh, clearly a strong move above there would push back into the up mid to upper 1.0 hundreds uh, we look for 1.0050, 75 into the yellow zone or higher. Now, good, strong, negative data, you know, if it comes out poor and misses the mark, a fall off of this 99.60 level, a challenge of our current support, which is the orange zone right around 99.50, and a break of that, we look for a new low to be made for the dollar franc. So positive data will send us back through the blue zone, challenge the 100 period moving average, and potentially higher. Negative data bounces off the trend line, the resistance challenges the support at the orange zone and makes a new low for the dollar franc. Let's take a look at the euro dollar, very much the opposite here on the euro dollar. Interesting here on the daily time frame, of course, again, we have the black trend line, so we have been in an uptrend here for this currency pair or a sell off of the US dollar, if you will. Green trend bar shows us that uptrend as well for the Forex Black Book. So Euro dollar has been in an uptrend. But again, we have significant news today, so we need to pay attention to that. Let's zoom in a couple of times here on the daily time frame. Euro 100 period moving average sitting just above the market. And take a look, the past three days have challenged it and unable to break through that 100 period moving average. So clearly, the pink shaded area, the 100 period moving average acting as resistance. Now, within the uptrend, if you're going to buy it and if we get poor U.S. data, you're looking for it to find support either at the blue zone and the black trend line or maybe even the green zone if it takes a significant push lower we look for support and buy in the direction of the trend or a final breakout above the 1.0790 level the one the 100 period moving average we look for a new high so negative data if it comes out poor we look for this to go through the pink zone through the moving average and make a new high positive news we possibly look for some further pull back down break the blue zone probably breaking the green zone would be the change of the direction breaking the green zone we're probably looking for it back down into the mid to low or if not all the way back down towards 1.0600 and this purple shaded area for the euro dollar today taking a look at the gbp usd gray bridge pound us dollar we have seen a couple of different things here on this currency pair over the past few weeks. First off, the trend has been up. Red trend line, we have been in an uptrend for the past few weeks. We see the green trend bar at the very bottom. So we know that the bias has been, for the past few weeks, 
for the upside. However, we've been in a period of congestion or ranging. Let's go ahead and zoom it in on that black box. Take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days. It's been bouncing between the green zone. Uh, we'll call it 125, but it's really dip, dipping a little bit lower into 124.90 at the bottom of the green zone. And resistance all the way up here yesterday into the 1.2675, 127 level. So we know that resistance is the pink zone. We know there's always that potential of Brexit news that causes this to, uh, to move as well. We know positive news today for the U.S. dollar positive jobs data, we probably will break through 24.90 and at least continue back down towards this yellow zone at minimum into the 1.2400 level. So a positive news for the U.S. breaks the uh, green zone, 124.90 back down to the yellow zone. Negative news for the U.S., we potentially look for the bounce off of this green zone and the return of the upside here for the pound dollar. So keep an eye on the news and determine which direction, either a sell-off under the green zone or a bounce off to go back up with poor news for the U.S. dollar. Taking a look at the USD CAD, uh, conventional wisdom would say we are looking likely to sell this currency pair. We have a downtrend with the red trend line. We have a red trend bar with the Forex Black Book. We've been holding within and around that pink shaded area for the past three days. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that right now. Zoom in on, look at that pink zone. One, two, three days holding underneath it. We found support back here where the black circle is, support here, right here, and now we're underneath. 130, 40, 130, 60 as resistance. So conventional wisdom with the trend and uh, uh, with the momentum right now, we would likely be looking to go short and sell the dollar CAD. However, if we get significant positive news today out of the U.S., we might look for a little bit of intraday reversal. You know, we might look for it to break through 3,060, back towards 3,100, maybe even back into the mid to upper 31s and this blue shaded area up here, or maybe even the green zone into the 32 level. So positive data likely sees a little bit of a short-term reversal, maybe a reversal of this red trend line and a turn back higher. If we get negative data, we like look for the fall back down towards the blue zone, if not lower. If it can break through that blue shaded area, we have a significant drop back down into the 128. So continue to go lower. I think we're back down towards the 128. So let me see if I can pull this orange shaded area over here a little bit further because I think that's where we're going to target into that orange zone. A break of the blue zone, negative news for the U.S. today. We're back down here towards the orange shaded area. Positive news, we may look for some pullback and reversal back higher again for the dollar CAD. Moving back over to the U.S. yen, again, we've been studying this black box. First off, blue trend line, we've been in a downtrend. Red trend bar, we've been in a downtrend momentum. So downtrend has been what we're looking at. However, we have held support significantly at the bottom of this black box. Let's zoom it in two times. Look at that, the bottom of the black box, the purple shaded area, 112.55, 112.80 at least the past one, two, three, four days holding support there. If it continues to hold that support and we get positive news today out of the U.S., that's really going to be the name of the game today. If we can get some positive news out of the U.S. today, we might look for some pullback, some reversal here for this currency pair. I'm trying to get this orange shaded area pulled over without moving these lines around. Uh... Positive news. We've already bounced off the purple zone. A break through the orange shaded area, which is right around the 113.40 level. We're back here towards this yellow zone, 114, a break of 114, and maybe even a break of that blue trend line. We look for further pullback and reversal all the way back up here into the 115s again, top of this range inside the black box. So significant barrier of support, the purple zone. It hasn't broken through it. It's challenged it a couple of days, but hasn't broken it here on the daily. So this could be the reversal point. We'll keep an eye on it today with our news. Positive news out of the U.S. sends us higher. Negative will finally break down through that purple zone and continue to go lower for the dollar yen. Moving over to the AUD USD, uh, we did yesterday, uh, a couple days ago, got some positive data out of, significantly positive data out of Australia, drove it higher into resistance. We've studied the blue shaded area in the live trade room uh, as resistance uh, 76.70 up to 76.95 is the blue zone. Yesterday, it capped out there and has been falling back down. Positive data out of the U.S. Now, we did get positive news out of Australia, but today, if we get positive data out of the U.S., I think we look for some further pullback, 
maybe back down here towards the purple shaded area, the blue trend line, and the 7600 level. So positive news, we're dropping back down towards 7600. Negative, we may look for another charge or challenge of the blue shaded area or maybe even the green zone as our ultimate resistance high that you can see over here on the left-hand side. Take a look back here to the left. We're back into the mid-77s if we get negative data out of the U.S. Negative data sends it back up towards the blue and the green. Positive, we're back down here towards 7600 and challenge challenging the support. Now, the question, of course, will be, are we going to just find temporary support at the purple zone and bounce back up, or is it going to break through? I guess it depends on how positive that news is out of the U.S. if it goes in that direction. Again, negative, we look for buying on uh, dips or breaks of resistance if it gets negative news out of the U.S. Take it on down here to the NZD USD. We have been going short on this currency pair for the past couple of days. New Zealand, you can see it down here at the bottom, 73.30. I'm still holding uh, that trade here down at the bottom of the chart, 57, 60 pips of profit right now. I have locked in with the stop loss. You can see I have a hard stop loss at 73.05, protecting the trade from going negative again. Uh, positive news out of the U.S. We're looking for this to go lower. We have been in an uptrend, black trend line, green trend bar. We have been in an uptrend, but let's think about our fundamentals for the week. We had uh, some negative news out of New Zealand earlier on the week with higher unemployment. Uh, we had uh, positive ADP, and if we get a positive uh, news today out of the U.S., I think we're looking for this back to the green zone, if not some sort of push lower uh, beyond the black trend line and maybe even a short-term reversal of the trend. So uh, that's what I think we're looking at here on New Zealand. So that's why I'm holding through the trade now, uh, even through the news. So, But if we get negative news, of course, out of the U.S., maybe we look for the challenge once again back in towards the mid-73. 73.50 is the pink zone. We've discussed that pink zone a lot in the trade room this week. Uh, if you want to hear more about it, come into the trade room later on today. But I think we're short, white, waiting for the news to see if it's positive or negative out of the U.S. later today. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.